our draw and tell stories. This story is called Katie and the Giant, and it's from Draw and Tell by Richard Thompson, who has given us permission to use his stories today. This story is a little bit more difficult than the other story I did, Alexander, and it has a surprise at the end. I hope you enjoy it. Let's begin. This is the story of Katie and the Giant. You have no doubt heard of the mountains called the Pointed Sisters. Well, in case you haven't, I will tell you that those mountains look something like this. There was a tall one here and another one beside it, just as tall. And then the third sister mountain was smaller. I would be surprised though, if you had heard of Katie who lived in a little cave near the bottom of the third mountain. And if you haven't heard of Katie, you most certainly haven't heard of Jason who lived in the mountain next door. He was a giant, a huge giant with legs as big as trees and shoulders like boulders. In fact, the way Jason got such big shoulders was by lifting boulders. Every morning for at least two hours, he would exercise, picking up huge rocks and lifting them oh, over his head. And when he was feeling particularly strong, he would start throwing the boulders and they would go crashing down the mountainside, making a terrible racket and shaking the ground for miles around. One morning, the noise of Jason's bouncing boulders woke Katie up and the shaking shook her right out of bed. But Katie set about her business, bravely trying to ignore the giant's game. She had just gone outside and was starting to gather some flowers when, whomp, a huge boulder landed right beside her. She was angry and rushed to the bottom of Jason's mountain, yelling up at him, stop throwing those big rocks. The giant looked down at little Katie and laughed. Ha ha, who is going to make me? You? Ha ha ha. Katie didn't have an answer for that question. So she went and packed up all her things and moved to another cave on the other side of the mountain. She thought she would be safe enough from flying boulders there, and for a while she was. But as Jason lifted more and more boulders, he got stronger and stronger. And when he threw them, they went sailing right over the nearby mountains. One day, Katie and her friend Jeremy were playing near Katie's cave when crash! Another boulder came and fell right between them. Katie rushed around the rock to see if Jeremy was all right, and thank goodness he was. But Katie was mad. She rushed right up the side of Jason's mountain and stood there shaking her fist at the giant. You just about hit my friend with your boulder, she yelled. You better stop throwing things. Or what, laughed the giant. Ha ha ha. Or, Katie was so mad, she couldn't even think of or what. All she could do was stamp her foot really hard and yell, I'm telling you, just stop. At that moment, the whole mountain started to shake and tremble. Katie and Jason watched in amazement as below them, the top of the mountain blew off and lava and smoke came pouring out. The mountain gave another big shake and Katie went tumbling down the side and landed flat on her back. Now, I don't know if it was Katie's stamping and yelling that caused that volcano to blow its top. Perhaps it was just ready to blow, but Jason thought it was. Wow, he said, if she can shake the top of a mountain just by stamping her foot, I'm getting out of here. And he ran down the side of his mountain and over and up the side of the next mountain and down it and into the woods where he went round and round and round until he was lost. And to this day, he is still lost. Meanwhile, at the bottom of the mountain, Katie picked herself up and got on her feet just in time to see Jason run away over the top of the mountain. 
She dusted herself off and said proudly, not bad for a mouse, not bad at all. That was an unexpected twist, wasn't it? Now it's your turn to come up with your own draw and tell stories. You can share them with those in your household or even over a video call with friends or family. And if you're looking for more inspiration, you can check the library catalog for draw and tell and find more books that you can take home that have lots of stories. Thanks for joining me today. Happy drawing. Thank you.